we're going to focus on specifically is how to create a command text file. Now, command text file is used by the batch processor dialog. So the first thing we need to do is open up the batch processor dialog. I'm going to go to the file tab, slide on down to tools. Under tools, you'll see batch process. This opens up our batch process dialog where it says command file to the right. I have three choices. I can browse for an existing command file. I can edit an attached command file, or what we're going to be doing is creating a new command file. So I'm going to click create new command file. Now it's going to ask me where do I want to put the command text file, and that will be up to you. I would put it in a place where you know where you can find it. Down here, it's looking for me to give it a name. Now in this example, what this command text file is going to do is attach a color table. So I'm just going to give it a name. I'm going to say attach color table. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And as soon as I do that, my Notepad application opens up and it's looking for me to blow all of these pound signs. It's looking for me to put in the command that I want to process on multiple files. Now I've already copied a command just for this example, so I'm just going to paste this in. Now what this command happens to do is the CT equals part is the microstation command for attaching a color table. And then what you see to the right of that is the path to that Caltrans color table. Now, when you attach a color table to a file, what you need to do to make it stick is do a file design, or it's also known as save settings. That's what this key in is going to do. Attach a color table, and it's going to save settings. So I'm going to go ahead in File, Save, and then I'm going to File, Exit, and you can see there's my command text file. Now, if I wanted to edit it, I can go to edit command file and this will bring it up. And then I can, using my notepad, go ahead and edit it if I want to. Now, to give you an example of some existing command text files that already ship with MicroStation from headquarters, I'm going to come up to browse for command file. I'm going to navigate to my C drive. I'm going to go to Caltrans, HQ, MS Connect, Data, and then Batch Process Files. These are command text files or text files that headquarters has provided that do a number of typical things that we do on a daily basis. As an example, when preparing for PSNE, you need to run the PSNE2 command text file. This will set your files up correctly. Another one is the ref to RCD. This is also talked about in the PSNE manual. One of the other ones here is work set association to associate a work set. Let's take a look at that. Attach it, and then we'll go to edit. And we can see it does two things, file associate work set, that's the command, and then file design, save settings. Once you've done that, you save settings on your file. So this is what a command text file does, and this is how you can go about creating it. Hopefully this has been helpful.